All right, everybody, let's get into this part of the advanced training course here. Um, we're going to talk about revenge trading, okay? Um, obviously, you're watching this in the psychological section of the course because this is going to be very important. For those of you who have been in the market for a while and are still trying to get familiar with, like, your trades and how you can kind of get over making these kind of bad trades. And, uh, you know, revenge trading is one of them. You're going to be subject to it. You're going to do it, whether you like it or not. It just happens. It's just part of you as a trader, as a person. And you just got to know what to do to, you know, overcome it, avoid it, and get around it kind of thing. So we're going to discuss that here in this section. <clears throat> Before we move on to more nitty-gritty stuff here, I want you to kind of understand this because you're going to need to be look, looking out for these type of trades that you're doing if you are making these type of trades to be able to correct, you know, your trading. All right. So revenge trading. I mean, have you ever like, you know, got into a trade and then you got out of the trade with the loss because, you know, you thought it was going to be a bad type of trade. And then shortly after the trade just takes off and then you jump back into the trade only for it to happen again. And it just dumps on you. Happens all the time. Um, you know, revenge trading is basically what you're doing at that point. You're not taking your losses and just, you know, moving on. You're basically trying to make up for the losses that you had with the original trade there. And that, you know, is just a part of human nature to a certain extent for some people because, you know, we want to be able to be right all the time. And that's just how it is. But revenge trading happens, um, whether it be consciously or subconsciously, all the time for traders. So let's kind of talk about these things here uh, with revenge trading. So basically, we're going to discuss, you know, what it is how it happens and comes about and basically how to overcome it. And what I'm also do is give you guys, you know, five key steps that helped me a lot when it comes to revenge trading um, as well, too. So you'll get that here as well. Um, again, something I'm cognizant of as a trader being in the market this long time and understanding my trading habits and trading styles. That's why I'm so good at, you know, not being able to do that as well, too. It takes practice. You're not going to develop preventing revenge trading all the time. And even as you're still sometimes into it every now and then, you might still fall into it. I personally have it happen sometimes as well, too. But again, um, you know, it is what it is, right? So let's talk about what it is, revenge trading. Um, basically, when you revenge trade, guys, you're going to be basically engaging um, in the types of trades where you're going to take one or more trade and just an attempt to just kind of recoup any reasonable, you know, large loss you might have had from a previous trade beforehand. And many times it's typically the same stock. Um, you know, like, for example, if you got in like KOSS, right, took a loss on it, you're going to still be watching that ticker, hoping it does whatever you do. You just, you just want to make that trade just to prove that to yourself that, you know, you were right all along. The stock was going to blow up and it did. And look how much money I gained. It, it just happens, you know. Um, sometimes it could be with a different ticker it could be you know you did a bad trade on koss and now you're jumping into stock xyz hoping that it goes to the moon just because you had a bad trade with kos you you didn't separate yourself from that trade which you know is basically a revenge trade so when you basically when you lose money on a deal our natural tendency is just try to recover from it as humans that's just how it is um sometimes the desire becomes so strong that we basically act irrationally that's what happens when you're revenge trading you know, just to be able to prove yourself was right all along. Um, and again, it's just a natural emotional response to traders who suffer like significant losses um, before taking the time to like think about the next move or even, you know, manage everything correctly that they should be doing or, you know, even look at their strategy there in another trade after taking a big loss. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> all right. Um, now, let's kind of talk about how and why it happens, you know. Again, it's mainly an emotional state. You know, many traders may not even want to admit it, but the fact that most of them have fallen into the trap of revenge trading at some point in their journey. Um, so, you know, you got to wonder, like, why do we do it knowing full well that we can't, you know, it can significantly harm our bottom line by doing revenge trading. And it's basically simple. It's just come down because of the fact that we're human. You know, it's just a, a natural response as a person. You know, we're driven by instinct as people and emotions make when we make decisions um you got anger greed fear shame all these are you know natural emotions that after losing a big money you know into the market typically takes over and some of these sentiments might not be you know rational but we allow them to basically dictate our actions when it does happen um you know anyway so you know most people think risk to reward 
you know, are things that they can, you know, perceive with like absolute, absolute certainty um, all the time. But, you know, in reality is that, you know, things that are never really simple, you know, and, and you know, emotional responses tend to win um, through the wins and losses are really just unavoidable. You can't, you can't get around it. It's just going to be, you know, unless, and that's why so many people fall into like algorithm trading and, you know, letting robots trade and stuff like that, because it, it eliminates that part of risk factor in trading. But also the problem with that too, is that it could be predictable. So, which is why algos don't really always work because markets will tend to adjust to them. Um, additionally, you know, there's always uncertainty in the market. And just because, you know, a security is dropped doesn't mean that, you know, it can't go back up and, you know, keep rising within like the next few trading sessions it happens you know, all the time. And even though you might like be in despair over like your previous loss and things like that, there's always hope that it's going to bounce back and it tend to have people, you know, back hold and things like that. So this is, you know, the temptation that makes uninformed traders want to go all in when they revenge trade and just leads to more and more losses. So let's just kind of talk about those emotions and, you know, why they happen. We kind of know how it happens, but let's kind of talk about why it happens. Like, for example, with anger, you know, you, you're generally as a trader disappointed that, you know, you made a big loss and so you want to recoup that initial loss. That's typically what happens when you're angry. Greed, as you probably know, greed is probably the one of the key sentiments in the market. Um, you know, so traders often revenge trade as they're trying to just basically make more money. That's why I tell you guys, you just sometimes you know, just take your wins, walk away, call it a day, especially when you start to feel greed take over. I'm really good at kind of measuring my greed factor. And to be honest with you, the more profitable in the market and consistent in the market you become, the less your greed is going to be taken over because you're going to just kind of get into a rhythm of where you're knowing like, you know, hey, this is more than enough. I'm good to go, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah, but, you know, it'll always be there. It's just it's just greed. <laughs> um, then there's fear, you know, traders, you know, revenge trades because they're basically, you know, afraid of the market, you know, they're afraid that, you know, of taking that big loss. Um, you know, if you make most of your money in the market, you know, trading and you, you know, take a big loss, fear can push you to revenge trade happens all the time, you know? And then for other people, it's shame. I mean, some people just feel like revenge trading with a goal of, you know, trying to avoid the shame of being wrong. I would say it's probably like one of the most common parts of trading, you know, especially when you're like part of a team and collectively, um, and that's why I tell you guys, and that's why, you know, we have like the chat room and stuff like that for you guys to be okay with taking a loss. I mean, guys, I mean, you, I know you, for those of you who, who you know, been with me for a while, um, you know, you've seen that I'm consistent, through things like that. And you would think like, hey, I should be consistent. You guys got to remember, I've been doing this for years, years and years, okay? But new traders, and I was like this as well too. I was ashamed to post like, oh man, I messed up, I messed up. And especially if other new traders seem like they're doing really well it's kind of like the classroom kind of setting too. I mean, just because you're, you're, you know, doing it wrong and you shouldn't feel ashamed about it. In fact, you become a better trader. The more you do wrong, you just, it's how many times you're really going to want to take a hit to, you know, till you get better. I mean, for some of you, you might get it instantly. For some of you might take a couple months, maybe a year or two for other traders that were like me, it might take you well over half a decade to even start to begin to break even. You shouldn't be ashamed about it. It happens all the time. Every person's situation is different and unique and that's what a lot of these gurus stuff like that don't tell you about trading it's very individualistic you can only learn about so much collectively but in the end it's going to boil down to you as an individual so don't feel ashamed but that's what happens when people revenge trade is because they feel the shame about you know missing their goal or you know being wrong in a collective group it's just they don't want to you know express that that, that they're wrong and so and like I said, guys, always reach out to me, too, if you, you know, I'm not going to judge you. Again, I was there before. I know how it is. It's perfectly fine. But don't feel ashamed, all right? Um, so let's just kind of talk about how to overcome it. Like I said, I wanted this to be a, a really quick video just to kind of get you guys aware of revenge trading and how it works. But um, there, there's five key steps that I did, you know, to kind of overcome, you know, revenge trading. And I'm going to go into that here with you guys since we're in the advanced course there. Um and in this that I kind of go over with you guys, you should be doing this after every single trade and understand another thing, too, that it's not going to happen overnight. OK, you being better at not revenge trading emotion. It takes emotional practice. It's like being in a relationship and, you know, going through one breakup to another. It starts to get better after a time, especially if it happens all more than more than once. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we're going to talk about how to overcome it because there's certain things that you can do to, you know, make overcoming um, revenge trading much easier for yourself and 
how to basically do it. But again, these things I'm going to tell you guys, I want you to do this after every single trade that you do. Okay. And, you know, um, just put it into practice. That's all you can really do. That's all you can really do. Okay. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into those steps so we can wrap up this course at a section or this section of the course. And we're going to move on to the nitty gritty when it comes to this risk management. I think you guys are going to love this part of it because it's going to be very detailed. And if you implement this stuff here that I go over with you in risk trading, it's a really good chance you're going to be a much better trader because I wish I would have known this stuff earlier, but it's you know going to help you out. So let's go ahead and get into these steps. All right. Step one. All right, guys, you know the routine. If you enjoyed that video, please do us a favor, show some support, and hit that like button. Give us that thumbs up. Let us know if you enjoyed this content. Comment below. Let us know your thoughts. We love hearing from you as well, too. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions about anything whatsoever. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Until then, stay green.